10 sugars combat infection, not the sugar you put in your tea, special sugars like fucose. Bacteria affect different parts of the body, such as the lungs. In our lungs, there are special cells called ciliated epithelium with hair-like structures called cilia on their surface. These cilia have sugars attached to them, sugars like fucose. Dr Claire Jackson of the University of Southampton studies these cells. The surface of the airway has tiny hair-like structures called cilia, um, which are actually moving and they beat in a coordinated manner in a Mexican wave like motion to move mucus and pollution and infection up and out of the lungs. The R movement represents the cilia sweeping motion which removes the mucus from the lungs. The palms of our hands represent where the Foucault sugar would be on the cilia. Unfortunately, a bacteria called Pseudomonas hijacks this entire system. When the Pseudomonas comes in, it can release factors that stop the cilia from working properly. Um, and one of those factors is called lectin. And the lectin can actually stop the cilia from working and it can help the bacteria to form a biofilm. Bacteria would normally be free floating. A biofilm is when the bacteria itself produces um, a sticky glue-like substance that allows the bacteria to stick together and when it does this it makes it more resistant to antibiotics. The sky represents the Pseudomonas bacteria and the rain represents the release lectin which stops the cilia working. Without the wave movement the cilia can no longer remove bacteria from the lungs. But what if we could protect the cilia and make sure that they always keep moving? The lectin that I mentioned that comes from the bacteria can actually stick and bind to um, the fucose on the cilia surface. So what I'll be doing is using extra fucose to actually block the Pseudomonas lectin before it touches the cilia. In this way I'll hope to protect the ciliary function. The umbrellas held above our heads represent the extra fucose. It is protecting us from the rain which represents the lectins. By trapping the lectin, or rain, with the umbrella, the movement of the cilia, or our arms, is restored. We hope that the fucose could be developed into an aerosol that could be inhaled and that patients with chronic infections with pseudomonas could be treated with this inhaled therapy and that by doing so they'll have a reduced amount of biofilm so that antibiotics could work more effectively. It might reduce the need for antibiotics um, in their treatment.